Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to set up your own metric server via Synapse. Let's start. I am here in the official documentation of matrix.org on github.io. I put you the link in the video description. I'm starting with a blank Ubuntu 2020.4 server and at first we have to install the latest release of matrix synapse by these commands here. So let's run these commands. Let's start with installing some packages for adding a external source. Perfect. Then let us continue by adding a keyring to our system and to add the external resource with the keyring to our package sources. Now we can run apt update. Perfect. And then we can install metric synapse pi 3. In this case I'm running the latest release, no beta version or something else. And I'm also not recommending the downstream packages of Ubuntu or Debian. Here we can now configure the name of the server. The name of the server is very important. It is here described and in my case it is server.linuxguides.de and yeah I'm taking this name here without HTTP or something else just this one and click OK. Now, perfect, thank you, report home server usage statistics. For me this would be OK, but yeah, you could decide your own. And now in the rest metric synapse is being configured. So let us continue. Now we are finished with the installation and we can go to setting up synapse. I'm using PostgreSQL and yeah, for that we have to need to install PostgreSQL and let us do this. I'm running sudo apt install PostgreSQL 14 in this case or for Ubuntu 2020.4. Maybe on your Ubuntu server configuration this might be different and I am installing this one. Perfect. Here I am choosing my ge geographic area. I am sitting in Europe in Berlin. Perfect. And this will finish soon. I'm choosing Europe. Now let's head to the documentation using Postgres. We are opening this in a new tab. And here we have to install libpq5, which is in my case already pre-installed. Yeah, it is already pre-installed in my case, but ensure that this is installed. Now let us set up our database. For that we have to log in as our Postgres user. And let us continue by opening the bash for our Postgres user. I hope this one works. Perfect. This works quite good. And uh, now let us create a new user, Synapse user. And here we can enter a new role. Sorry, a password for a new role. This one should be secure. I created a password through my password manager and paste it in here. Perfect. Now the user is created. It is called Synapse user. So now let us create our database, which is called in the end Synapse and the owner is Synapse user and encoding UTF-8 is very important. So perfect. This should be okay. Let us just change the directory to yeah ignore this error message. This doesn't belong to the command we issued. And now we need to enable password authentication for our Synapse user. So for that we have to dig around in some pghba.conf file for our 
PostgreSQL. So I'm starting with Vim or you can use Nano instead. And we are opening etc PostgreSQL 14 main. And here we see the pghpa.conf. We will open this guy up and yeah, I read the documentation for you and the line we have to add is this line here. We want that for our Synapse database for local access, which is our Synapse user by authenticating via yeah, password, which is proved via checksum. So yeah, we can leave this address here blank because we're using local in here. That's very important. And now let us save and close the file. Perfect. Now let's go further on. Here we have now to configure our synapse.config or our um, home server.yaml file. And um, yeah, I'm just copying this one and we are opening our etc matrix synapse and here home server.yaml. Perfect. And let us delete the lines with SQLite. We don't need them only, but oh, sorry. Let us exit the Postgres. Now let us edit this file etc matrix home server.yaml. And now hopefully we could delete these lines here. Perfect. And let us paste the other files here and the other lines here. We have database psych cop G2 is okay for us. And here we have to define the user, which is in our case, the synapse underscore user. Our password is the password we have given to him. In my case, this is this one. And the database is called synapse. And our host should be local host, I guess, hopefully. Okay, then let us save and quit. Perfect. Now we configured our synapse.config. We could also adjust our keep alive timeouts, but yeah, we are running the PostgreSQL at the same server as the metric server. So in our case, this should be okay. Here you could tune Postgres if you want. In my case, I'm skipping that. I'm also skipping porting from SQLite because we won't need it because yeah, we are creating a complete new metric server in this case. Okay, now let us head back to our installation process. In the end, we have to say PostgreSQL that this one should start. And uh, we have to open etc PostgreSQL. And uh, now let us open the main conf file here, which is PostgreSQL.conf. And here, no, yeah, here we have to um, disable listen addresses equals localhost. And then let us save this one here. And hopefully this should be now done with PostgreSQL 14 in this case. So um, let us head over to our TLS certificates. I recommend using a reverse proxy. For that, we are gonna using Caddy, which I am opening soon. Here is our configuration for Caddy and I'm installing this via external source in here. Let us open Debian keyring and in my case, curl is not installed. So I issue sudo apt install curl. Perfect. And let us download a key and let us installing our source and update our new external source or the complete apt cache. Perfect. And now we can install caddy. 
it is very easy for this job. And of course, I'm also using here the stable release. I will always recommend that one. So now we have to define our caddy file. I'm opening etc caddy caddy file. And we can delete all this one. We don't need this one anymore. And let us paste this one here. I have this configuration from, let us head over here, TLS certificates, we see the reverse proxy documentation. And in the reverse proxy documentation, we see some code for our caddy server. And I added this line here so that every other traffic beside these addresses is also heading to our local host 8008 where our metric synapse is running. And yeah, this one is for TLS, I guess, also for the metrics client. So this one is very important. And um, yeah, this is the main TLS, hey, HTTPS. We are using HTTPS because we are only giving our main domain here and caddy recognizes this automatically and generates all the HTTPS stuff for us. Caddy is very, very great. I love caddy. So, oh, sorry for that. Yeah, I didn't run that with sudo. So let us repeat that. Okay, now we are finished. Perfect. Now, I guess we are ready to start everything. So in this case, I just type in sudo system ctl restart caddy. I hope this one is correct. But at first, let me install bash completion. I'm sudo system ctl restart. Now we have restarted our caddy. We also have to restart our postgres. Postgresql.service is enough. I hope this one is correct. Yeah, perfect. Our PostgreSQL service restarted. And in the end, let us restart our metric synapse service. Hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, it seems fine at this stage. And now when if you are open server.linuxguides.de, we see the page, it works, Synapse is running. Then we made everything perfect. Now we can start by adding a user. And I am using this command here, register new user, minus u. Here we have to insert our username. In my case, I'm going with Jean. And here we have to specify our home server.yaml and our domain in this case. And this should be https server.linuxguides.de. And now let us hope that this guns. Ah, okay. Yeah, we have no reg registration shared secret or registration shared secret path defined in our config. Then we have to do this. I forgot. Sorry for that. Um, let us open our metrics home server.yaml and we have to define a registration shared secret. So let us head in the end. Let us create a new line. Let us define a new variable called like this. And now you need to generate some salt. It could be a random password, for example. I am opening this on my Bitwarden. And here, this is my salt. So, okay, now I write and quit this one. And I'm restarting the post, uh, the Synapse service. I hope we made everything correct. Okay, and now let us start. Okay, we can hit a password for our Jean. I'm going with an easy one. 
Perfect, now we have created a new user. And let me create a user two, for example, Joe. Perfect, now I have two users and we now have to open some clients, for example, web.element.io. Let us search for that. Launch element web, ah, app.element.io. Okay, now let us say in this case, English and let us say sign in. And I edit this one and say server.linuxguides.de in my case, continue. And now I'm signing in with a username. I'm signing in with a genre at first. Now I'm logged in with server.linuxguides.de and let us create another user. I'm creating a new private tab here. So now I could send a direct message to Jean, to Jean server dot Linux guides dot de and I'm taking this one. Select go and send hi from tutorial. Continue. Uh, no, I, I I don't want to do the secure backup uh, shit. And uh, let us head over to another account. Here we have it and here Joe write us. Perfect, let us start chatting. And here we see hi from tutorial and you can send images, videos and everything you like. Also locations or everything. And this is working now locally at your matrix Synapse server. Currently, this one is not connected to the yeah, world wide web matrix. In this case, for that you have to follow along this client well known URI. Yeah, for that you have to follow the further documentation belong this. Then we are completely finished with this tutorial now. If you found this tutorial useful, I would be very happy about a like and a subscription to my YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye.